under the vast sky. Imagine a life where your financial worries are a thing of the past. You are proactive in creating financial freedom in a happiness and true joy. Does this seem like a distant dream? But you should know that this dream can indeed become a reality. Today, we will immerse ourselves in the world of Stoic philosophy with eight core principles guiding you on how to break free from the cycle of mundane thoughts. We will not only discuss the accumulation of wealth, but also building a rich, peaceful, and positively energetic soul. These principles are not just advice. They are the keys to unlocking a new world. Follow this video to the end, because after watching it, the way you perceive your personal finances and your life will change significantly. So why should you listen? Because life is not just about existence, but about experiencing and savoring every moment. Join us and start this journey immediately with the first principle. Principle 1. Stop associating wealth with happiness. Principle 1. Stop associating wealth with happiness. The famous Stoic philosopher Seneca once said, It is not the man who has too little, but the man who craves more that is poor. This statement emphasizes an important point about financial status, wealth, and the psychology of individuals' happiness. Stoic philosophy has shown us that we should not associate wealth with happiness, as this is a profound perspective on life. Instead of focusing on accumulating material wealth, Stoic philosophy encourages us to seek happiness by developing virtue and personal ethics, according to Stoic philosophy. True happiness does not lie in the accumulation of material possessions, but in nurturing virtue. Virtue in Stoic philosophy is not just a noun, but a knowledge, a mindset, and an approach to life. It includes self-control, the ability to control emotions and behavior, courage in facing difficulties, fairness in evaluating situations, and the ability to use theory to shape our worldview. We are reminded that wealth is an external, unstable, and changeable aspect of life. This is not a necessary condition for experiencing true happiness. Instead, they believe that virtue living a meaningful and valuable life is the exact element we need to experience happiness. Consider this. We have heard many stories of millionaires living in unhappiness and ordinary people leading happy lives. The amount of money in your bank account is not a reliable indicator of happiness. Instead, what matters is the depth of your character and the quality of your actions. Material possessions are often not sustainable. The joy they bring is temporary. Imagine you just bought a new mobile phone and the excitement and happiness are overwhelming in your mind. However, after a few months of use, that phone becomes older and the initial enthusiasm fades away. Life seems to always shift and change, and material possessions often cannot adapt to these changes. A new product may bring temporary joy, but then it becomes a part of daily life and is not enough to sustain happiness. This makes reevaluating the relationship between wealth and happiness more necessary than ever. Stoic philosophy not only helps us understand that we should not associate material wealth with happiness, but also creates a sense of gratitude for what we already have. When we learn to appreciate and cherish the positive aspects of life, we begin to realize that we are richer than we thought. This is not just about appreciating what we have, but also about understanding the true value of it. Furthermore, to strengthen the richness of the spirit, you can learn to invest in knowledge, experiences, and relationships. The knowledge you acquire, the experiences you accumulate, and the love you share are lasting treasures that accompany you on the journey of life. All of these together constitute true wealth, a profound sense of satisfaction and meaning in life. That is the wealth we should respect and explore on our journey. In summary, Stoic philosophy offers a completely different perspective on the relationship between wealth and happiness. True happiness does not depend on owning many material possessions, but comes from developing virtue and living a righteous life. This makes Stoic philosophy a valuable source of inspiration for our journey in search of true meaning and happiness. Principle 2. 
Stop blaming others. Principle 2. Stop blaming others, Epictetus said. People are not disturbed by things, but by the view they take of them in principle number 2. We deeply contemplate Epictetus' words about navigating our own journey towards a brighter future that we decide for ourselves and not blaming others. In the journey of life, Stoic philosophy delivers a powerful message. We must stand before the mirror and look at ourselves if we want to see changes in our financial situation and overall quality of life. This is a message of personal responsibility and self-care. Alliance. Imagine a journey to a remote island where you are the sole captain on the ship of your life on this island. There are challenges, obstacles, and opportunities, but the only thing we can control is ourselves. We are advised to take ultimate responsibility for our lives. But why take responsibility? Because it is the path to freedom and progress. In a storm, we cannot control the wind and waves, but we can control how we steer our ship. In difficult times, we cannot control the situation, but we can control how we adapt and face it. Personal responsibility is not a burden, but an opportunity. It is the freedom to create our lives the way we want. Take on the role of the captain in your journey. Don't let anyone or any situation take away your control. Be the creator of your life and steer your ship in the direction you desire. One of the common mistakes that people often make is blaming others or external circumstances when facing difficulties. Stoic philosophy sees this as a sign of weakness and lack of control. Instead of taking responsibility and finding ways to solve the problem, we choose to avoid responsibility by blaming others or circumstances. Imagine a situation where you participate in a sports competition and do not achieve the desired result. Initially, you may feel disappointed and look for external reasons such as bad weather or an injury. However, Stoic philosophy encourages you to look at yourself. You may realize that despite the difficulties, better preparation, more diligent training, or improving your skills could have yielded better results. Ultimately, this principle is closely related to the Stoic concept of the dichotomy of control, which includes things we can control and things we cannot control. We may not control external factors like the weather, the behavior of others, or the control of social systems. However, we have the power to control how we react and deal with these factors. Instead of blaming what we cannot control, we should focus on controlling our thoughts, decisions, and actions. This helps us demonstrate self-determination and not be dominated by external factors in our lives. From the perspective of Stoic philosophy, not blaming others is not only a way to show personal responsibility, but also a way to live a meaningful and free life by accepting responsibility and control. We become positive creators in our own lives and face every challenge with strength. Principle 3. Stop living to please others. Principle 3. Stop living to please others. Let our thoughts turn to principle number three through a famous quote by Marcus Aurelius. It never ceases to amaze me. We all love ourselves more than other people, but care more about their opinion than our own. This quote emphasizes Marcus Aurelius' view of focusing on self-awareness and personal virtue rather than seeking external approval. According to Stoic philosophy, our lives depend on ourselves, and true happiness comes from self-awareness and self-control. We should not live to meet the expectations of others or seek their approval, because doing so makes us dependent on the opinions and judgments of others, putting us in a constant struggle against all the uncontrollable changes and fluctuations in life. We exist in a digital world where societal pressures constantly demand that we conform to and meet their expectations. Under this pressure, many people seem to be swept away and forced to live a life that doesn't express their true selves. All of this stems from the relentless effort to gain approval and acceptance from others. This mindset not only affects how we manage our finances and personal finances, but also drives us to chase after the lives of others. We often try to keep up with their lifestyle, possessions, and social status, often at the expense of our own financial well-being. 
Imagine a young person full of enthusiasm for the arts and passionate about writing books. However, due to societal pressures and family expectations, he gave up his dreams to pursue an undesired financial career. Instead of pursuing his own passion, he chose the path set by others, and this made him feel like he had lost an important part of himself. Passivity often leads many people into debt or living beyond their means in an attempt to emulate the extravagance of others. The Stoic principle of independence advises us to stand firm against this temptation and focus on our own journey toward financial independence, like a nature always focusing on the bullseye to shoot accurately. But how to start living by this principle sincerely? First, understand yourself. Take the time to discover your values, goals, and personal dreams. You need to identify what truly matters to you and create a clear vision of your life's goals. Second, build plans based on personal values. Develop financial and life plans based on your values and goals, rather than comparing yourself to others or meeting their expectations. Third, self-management and control. Stoicism encourages controlling your emotions and behaviors while accepting that there are things we cannot control. Focus on what can be controlled and embrace the changes that cannot be controlled. Additionally, always remember patience. Never forget that your journey is unique and the path to success is your own. Applying this principle is not always quick. It requires patience, perseverance, and self-exploration. When you stop living to please others, you not only gain control of your finances, but also of your life. Don't let societal pressure dictate your financial decisions. Pursue financial independence based on your values. With patience and perseverance, remember that this journey is yours. And you are not just a participant, but also your own unique competitor. By applying these principles, you will embark on a new journey of financial freedom and satisfaction, a profound transformation that brings significant changes to your life. Principle 4. Stop Avoiding Risks Principle 4. Stop Avoiding Risks When we hear the word risk instinctively, we often feel uneasy and worried. These natural emotions often limit us from reaching our full potential in life. We tend to avoid risks and fear challenges. However, we need to know that for personal growth and achieving spiritual freedom. Stoic philosophy teaches us to focus on developing patience, courage, and self-control in life, especially courage. This includes facing risks with insight and determination. If you are wavering about your own courage, turn to the stories of two famous figures who inspire anyone daring to turn dreams into reality. Mark Zuckerberg, technology billionaire and founder of Facebook, once said, In a rapidly changing world, the only strategy to ensure failure is not to take risks. He dropped out of college to pursue the Facebook project, a risky decision that turned him into one of the most successful people in the world in the field of technology, or Elon Musk. After earning millions from PayPal, Elon Musk did not continue on the safe path in the field of information technology, but instead shifted his focus to SpaceX and Tesla. Although both companies were on the brink of bankruptcy, they eventually grew strong, proving Musk's daring. This led to great success. Take a moment to think about this. What sets successful people apart from ordinary people? It's their courage to take risks. They boldly step out of their comfort zones, embrace uncertainty, and face challenges head on. They understand that it is through these risks that they grow, learn, and move toward success. So, what does this mean to you? It's about changing your perspective on risk. Courage doesn't mean completely eliminating fear and anxiety. Instead, it's the ability to face risks with confidence, never letting fear dictate your decisions. You need to understand that everything in life is temporary and cannot be fully controlled. Avoiding risks is just a waste of time and potential for your development. In our financial situation, it's the same when you take a risk by investing in a new project. Exploring a different career path or deciding to save or invest money instead of spending it on immediate pleasures. Everything may not go as you hope, but everything can turn out better than you think. 
Learning from risks and challenges is an important part of Stoic philosophy. We grow and develop through facing difficulties. Every failure is a lesson, and every challenge is an opportunity to become stronger. Patience and self-control are the keys to overcoming these challenges. However, please understand that, when we talk about taking risks, we do not encourage reckless behavior. Stoic philosophy promotes calculated and careful risk-taking. This requires deep knowledge, wisdom, and a detailed understanding of your specific situation. This concept aligns with our previous principles of self-awareness and continuous learning. So remember that accepting risks means opening the door to opportunities and potential growth. Stoics believe that maturity and success cannot be achieved if we always stay in our comfort zone. Facing risk boldly is part of building a meaningful and prosperous life. Courage patience, and self-control will help you confront every challenge with an attitude of openness and learn from these experiences. This will bring you closer to spiritual freedom and meaningful success in life. Principle 5. Stop ignoring your finances. Principle 5. Stop ignoring your finances. Finances are an important aspect of life that we often overlook, but Stoic philosophy has given us a different perspective on this matter. We often hear that ignorance brings happiness, but when it comes to your finances, ignorance can lead to serious risks. Stoicism is a philosophy of life with a message about self-control, building a strong mindset and deep awareness of life. This means that you need to understand your financial situation. When we start discussing applying Stoic philosophy to our financial lives, we open a door to a new world where the importance of awareness and attitude towards finances becomes clearer than ever. First and foremost, Stoic philosophy teaches us to have true awareness of our financial situation. Don't try to avoid or hide the truth about money, but open your heart to face it honestly. This not only involves counting the money in your bank account, but also understanding the source of income, managing expenses, and mastering the situation of debts. In a world where money is often put on a pedestal and counted, Stoic philosophy offers a different perspective in encouraging us to learn about ourselves and our financial situation in the most genuine way. Imagine that looking at the money in your account is not just about counting it, but also about asking yourself questions about the origin of that money, such as, what have I spent it on? Can I manage expenses more wisely, gain clear insight into your situation, and exercise self-control? to make wise decisions in managing personal finances. Furthermore, Stoic philosophy not only teaches us about self-control, but also about building connections with others through understanding and empathy. You will find yourself more sensitive to the emotions and needs of others, especially in difficult times. You can share Experian pieces and learn from those going through similar situations. This not only creates a supportive environment, but also makes people feel that they are not alone in their financial struggle. Personal responsibility is also an important aspect. We must take responsibility for our lives and not blame external factors. This means that you are the manager of your financial life and you have the right and responsibility to shape it positively. Finally, we are encouraged to live in full reality. Don't let yourself be fascinated by illusions or misconceptions about money. Instead, carefully evaluate the reality of our income expenses, debts, savings, and investments. Remember that you are the manager of your personal finances. Pay attention and take responsibility for your money and use it as a tool to build the life of your dreams. Stop neglecting your finances and start treating them with the care and respect they deserve. Principle 6. Stop Neglecting Personal Development Principle 6. Stop Neglecting Personal Development In Stoic philosophy, self-development and self-improvement are crucial aspects. Renowned Stoic philosophers like Epictetus, Seneca, and Marcus, Aurelius believed that the path to true happiness lies in the cultivation of the soul and the development of the spirit. Therefore, Maintaining a meaningful and purposeful life is closely linked to personal growth. But what does personal development truly entail? In Stoic philosophy, 
personal development is not arbitrary. It is considered a highly important duty. We are encouraged to invest time and effort in cultivating the soul and developing virtuous qualities. The goal of life is not merely to satisfy material needs, but to become better and spiritually richer with each passing day. Let's view personal development as a great journey. It is not about pursuing absolute perfection, but committing to continuous growth and lifelong learning. We should not impose the pressure of perfection on ourselves. Instead, our goal is to become better and more virtuous. Every day, each new day brings us a fresh opportunity to improve our souls and develop moral virtues. Consider another aspect of personal development self-control. This involves taking responsibility for personal growth and not allowing oneself to be entangled in weaknesses and uncontrollable situations by maintaining self-control. We can effectively streamline the process of personal development and adapt to life's challenges. Now let's explore a common mistake that many people make. The comfort zone. The comfort zone is where we do not face challenges and do not grow. Although it may be peaceful and stable, it is also a place of deficiency and aging. On the other hand, the growth zone is where we confront difficulties and tread the path of lifelong learning. It is where our spirit and soul are forged and strengthened. The world around us is constantly changing, and if we stop learning, we risk becoming obsolete, just like a shark must keep moving to survive. We too, must continuously learn to maintain our competitiveness. You may have questions about the feasibility of these tasks given constraints of time and money. Remember that the value of self-control in Stoic philosophy lies in making the right decisions, not necessarily the easiest ones. This may involve prioritizing personal development over leisure activities or unnecessary expenses. What's important is not making huge sacrifices but making conscious decisions that align with your long-term goals. From the perspective of Stoic philosophy, not neglecting personal development is an integral part of a meaningful and happy life. It is not just about improving personal skills and knowledge, but also about nurturing the soul and developing moral virtues. Personal development is not an ultimate destination, but a continuous journey of maturity and spiritual enrichment. Principle 7. Stop spending beyond your means. Principle 7. Stop spending beyond your means. Stop spending beyond your means. This may sound like a simple piece of advice, but you'd be surprised how often it gets overlooked. In an era of consumerism and advertising explosion, we are often put in a position where we feel like we need more than what we actually need. Advertisements often promise that owning a new product or service will bring happiness and satisfaction. This creates unnecessary pressure to shop and spend more, even when we don't have the financial capability to do so. Stoic philosophy reminds us that true happiness doesn't depend on owning many possessions or uncontrolled shopping. Instead, it stems from controlling ourselves and seeking happiness from within. When we stop spending beyond our means, we truly begin to practice this control by not letting our needs and desires exceed what we already have. So how do we practice this principle in our daily lives? It starts with distinguishing between our needs and desires. Basic needs like food, shelter, and clothing are essential for life, while desires like the latest tech gadgets or luxury fashion are not necessary, really must-haves. When we understand this difference, we become better at managing our finances. Modern life often puts us in a situation of uncontrolled shopping fueled by advertising and social influence. Stoic philosophy warns us about this feudal consumer trap and advises us to stay away from it. Instead of shopping to feel happy, we should find happiness in connecting with loved ones, exploring personal interests, or experiencing the tranquility of simple living. Imagine that you have saved enough money to handle any unexpected expenses without feeling panicked. Imagine the freedom from the burden of debt and having enough financial resources to spend more time with family. Explore new interests or even start your own business. Imagine a comfortable retirement life 
without worrying about depleting savings. All of this is entirely possible when you live within your financial means. Finally, life is not just about owning many possessions, but also about having a prosperous and peaceful life. When we live within our financial means, we can create opportunities to pursue personal dreams, spend time with family and friends, and ensure financial security for the future. Stopping spending beyond your means is not just a wise financial decision, but also a way of life. In accordance with Stoic philosophy to achieve self-control and contentment in life, by applying Stoic philosophy in personal financial management, we can build a prosperous, sustainable, and peaceful life. Principle 8. Stop Resisting Change Principle 8. Stop Resisting Change Finally, in principle number 8, we recognize that change is inevitable in life, but we often resist it. However, Stoic philosophy teaches us to accept and embrace change, understand the temporary nature of life, and adjust accordingly. It is in this adaptability that we truly find a way to prosper. Consider this. Seasons change. Tides rise and fall. The sun rises and sets, all indicating the inherently changing nature of life. Just like a river never stays the same. Life continually evolves. In our journey, we need to learn to progress along with life rather than against the current. In the context of our financial well-being, this principle suggests that the economy is always changing. New industries emerge while old ones become obsolete, interest rates fluctuate, and the job market undergoes transformations. Despite the challenges, don't resist change. Learn to navigate it. Resisting change in financial life can manifest in various ways. It could be refusing to accept that our career field is declining and not acquiring new skills. It might be maintaining an old investment strategy even when it's not yielding good returns. Or it could be the fear of taking risks in new investment opportunities and thereby missing out on potential gains. The question here is, what do we need to do to resist change? Below of four pieces of advice from Stoic philosophy. First, we need to change our mindset. Understand that change can bring exciting opportunities and prosperity. Just as a caterpillar must undergo transformation to become a butterfly, change can open new doors. Second, educate yourself. Knowledge reduces fear and is the reason why we resist change. Stay updated on economic trends, investment opportunities, and the best financial practices to guide you through change. Third, a balanced perspective is crucial. Understand that change can bring both benefits and losses. Job loss can lead to a new career. Unsuccessful investments can teach us valuable lessons and financial. Hardships can foster patience and wisdom. Lastly, be flexible. Being rigid in the face of change is like a tree standing firm in a storm. But bending and adapting can help us overcome it. Flexibility in financial planning, career choices, and investment strategies helps us deal with economic changes. Remember that the world is a constantly changing canvas and you are the artist with the right mindset, knowledge, perspective, and flexibility. You can paint a picture of financial prosperity. Embracing change is not only about financial success, it's also about living an interesting, fulfilling life, growing, learning, and developing. It's about flipping through the pages of life and discovering your true potential. So stop resisting change. Embrace it for it is the path to true freedom and satisfaction. We go through a stoic principles that help you steer towards financial success and an inspired life. Remember that the power to change your life is in your hands, and stoic philosophy is the torch that illuminates that path. Conclusion Before concluding today's video, I want to remind you, be the master of your life. Don't let circumstances control you. And if you find these eight principles helpful, don't hesitate to like and share this video to spread this knowledge to your loved ones and friends. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on new videos. Valuable lessons that will help you develop yourself every day. Leave a comment under the video about your opinions or comment.
Encourage me to apply Stoic principles to your life. Thank you for spending time with us today. Keep spreading inspiration and personal growth every day. See you in the next videos.